Hey guys, Amber from The Vault here, back with another Fallout 4 Settlement mod. Now guys, this is called Taffington Boathouse Revamped PS4, and if you're like me, you hate Taffington Boathouse. It is one of the worst settlements to build at because you have this big, giant house, and if you delete that house, it is a pain in the ass to try to rebuild the house there. Usually that's what I do if I have a settlement with a house that I don't feel like building at or I'm having trouble with. This one, I struggled trying to take away that house and trying to make something that worked, so this looks like a possible option for me. The only thing I don't know is if the landscaping in there is permanent, if it's always going to be green, or if that's only if you have like simple green installed or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and find out guys. We're going to find out together. We're going to go ahead and do this. I will be back in just a sec. All right, guys, and here we are at Taffington Boathouse revamped. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys real quick as we go along here what you can actually mess with, what you can get rid of, what you can delete, what you can keep, what you can't, all of that fun stuff. So as you're going to notice right away, it is hella green. I can't believe I just said that word. That was disgusting. I've been playing way too much Life is Strange. All right, so it is super green. What the heck is with that, guys? Oh, man, I don't know if I can handle it. So let's go ahead and go inside the house itself. Now, it shouldn't have changed the house that much. The only thing that It'll really be changed is the actual structure of it. It's not going to change the things that were inside. So my guess is, based on what I had in there before, there's probably going to be some glitching. So ignore that. Try not to think too much about it. Ignore it. But there probably will be inside. So it added a little side plank here as well as a boat. I wonder if there's anything in the boat. No, I was hoping for some, like, I don't know, secret treasure or something like that. So let's go ahead and check it out, guys. We'll go inside in just a sec. I just wanted to check the perimeter real quick, see what was what, what was going on. So it hasn't changed much from the outside, except for obviously the landscaping is very changed. Uh, you know, I'm going to say right now, personally, I will be uninstalling this one just because I don't like green things. I have a thing about green stuff. I don't like green stuff in my game, but it's definitely very pretty. You know, it's one of those mods that I think is a little but kind of it's kind of cool because it's a little got a little pre-war feel so let's go ahead and check out in here everything's been uh spruced up a little bit you can actually see that the walls don't have giant holes in them which is quite amazing let's go ahead and go upstairs i think that's where we're gonna see the largest change aha and this is what i was curious about a roof there is a roof. <laughs> I have wanted a roof at this settlement. I'm going to be honest, guys. I struggle with Taffington Boathouse. This is one of the ones I hate building at. I decided to go ahead and turn off that uh, the, the build mode there so we can actually take a look at the the, uh, bada 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 bada, the build itself. Wow, I can speak English, I swear. So let's go ahead and head over here. So this is kind of like sectioned off into two rooms. Not really, but kind of. And then this one's actually turned into a little bathroom. So if you would ignore the fact that I have beds in here, again, that's my original yeah, conflicting with this. So ignore that. Balance. It's kind of cool looking out the window. You can see where it kind of ends. All right. Yes, Piper is at this settlement. That's why you can hear her talking in the background. All right. So it's definitely, it's a, you know, I think it's a good change. If you're somebody who is interested in having kind of pre-war settlements, I'm just looking under the house real quick. I, I keep getting it in my head that one of these days, a mod is going to give me something for swimming around every time I install a new mod. So that's going to be it, guys. I mean, that's pretty much the rebuild. So you can actually go into the house. You can build inside that house. You're going to have that green area. The reason I per personally don't like it uh well first of all it cuts off the road here which i usually use to travel along this area that's not that big of a deal but for me it's the green i just oh if you guys have watched my simple green video you know how i feel about fallout and green everything in fallout should be a dusky brown gross color that's just my personal opinion but that's because i started <laughs> the series way too long ago it has been 20 years that i have been uh i've had fallout in my life which man if that doesn't make me feel old so guys that is the end of this one it's just kind of a mini mod review but i have to say you know as far as the downloaded or don't this one is all up to whether you can take kind of that that green space part personally i would absolutely keep this if it didn't have the green grass and the trees it would be something i would absolutely love to build in i love the fact that the house is cleaned up uh for me the only reason it's it's going to be a personal, you know, uh, uninstall in this case, 100% because of the green. That's the only thing I don't like. So, up to you guys as far as a download or don't. I think it would be kind of a cool place to build a settlement, though. Taffington Boathouse is a rough settlement, and I think that this would kind of be a cool way to put it in. And plus, guys, I hate building fences around my settlement. 
throwing up some hedges, having these big gates, that's actually really helpful. It's kind of cool. It makes it a little bit easier with the settlement. The only thing I can imagine is when this settlement gets attacked, usually it gets attacked from this direction, at least in my my game, I should say. I don't know if it's... Uh, I don't know if it is the same in everyone's game. I used to think it was, and then I heard other people say, oh, that's not where mine gets attacked from. So I'm not sure if it's random, but mine usually gets attacked from this way. This would prevent my settlers from being able to shoot them, so my guess is they'd have to run yes. out. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe I could build some elevated platforms, put something like that. Oh, oh, I should try to jump over here. Ah, you can't do it. But I figured I'd try. So that's it, guys. That is the big Taffington Boathouse revamp. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please remember to comment. Wait, I said that out of order. Like, comment, and subscribe. Holy moly, I am out of it right now, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. Helps other people find the videos. And, of course, it is a huge motivation to keep moving forward. A lot of people tell me they would love to support creators, but they just don't have the money. Guys, just liking a video, that's a way to support a creator that really does mean a lot. And it really, really does help creators out. So pretty soon there, oh, look at that, random tar berries <laughs> that don't belong there. So pretty soon, guys, a big picture of my dumb face will be popping up on the screen. Go ahead and click that if you want to subscribe to the channel and you haven't already. Otherwise, there'll also be a link to my Fallout 4 playlist, you know as well as some day? other video that well, YouTube thinks you'd like. Empty so empty let's go ahead and get out of here, guys. I will see you back in the next one. Hey, puppy, puppy.